Hi and welcome, this is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to load data from multiple sources to the data warehouse. So without wasting your time, let's get to Visual Studio. Um, as you can see here, I do have two packages. One is coming from uh, our ex extracting data from a text file and um, another package you are extracting data from a uh, SQL Server. So let's see how we can extract this information from multiple sources. So let's say we do have a project we're working on and uh, we'll be loading data from a uh, uh, SQL Server. At the same time, we are loading that information from a uh, uh, text file or maybe Excel file, whatever it is. So um, I'm going to copy this package. And paste. I don't want to start from scratch. And again, so um, if you are new to this video, um, just go ahead and watch my previous video on how to uh, extract data from a text file as well as from SQL Server. So this is my package. Here. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna say SQL. I'm gonna say multiple source sources data extraction so this package actually already did is deleting the information um, from uh, which table employees table and it loads that information So first of all, let's see our, what's in our employees table. So if you go to our data warehouse and select top thousand rows, you can see this data was captured. Um, so. If you go in here, you can see how many records we have. Um, I need to preview. I do have only five records, and it's in one through five. And let me open my text file. I do have uh, six to ten, and uh, these are the employees. So let's see here. Um, the tool we're gonna use, or the task we're going to use, is Union All. And what does Union say? Combines rows from multiple sources without sorting. So if you like to sort these records, we can use Merge if you want these records to be sorted. But I don't care about that for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this you know now and you can see here I just disconnect this and connect to my union you know all I need more room and um, all I need again is to get source, fat file source, I'm going to name it get employees as well. Oh, this is the destination either way, so apologize, we need source. But there I was getting it's because the, the object had the same name. 
that's the error message I was getting. So I need source parts. Are, so I'm going to say rename and I'm going to say get employee from text file. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and configure my uh, new connection manager. I'm just gonna call it I, I do have connection manager from employee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this. And again, if you don't know how to configure this, um please watch my previous video. So again, I'm gonna take the blue arrow and connect to my union all. And now I have a nice um what single output. And this is how it's done. So you just have to use Uno No, and uh, I can execute this package right now. Um, the other thing which you have to note here is, um, if you have multiple source, maybe an Excel file, you can just append here. So you can have as many as you want. And Uno actually does this without sorting. If you want to sort your information before merging, you can use um, um, merge join. And this here is the description of it. it says combine, merge and combines two sorted data flows into one. Okay, so um, we don't have to worry about that for now. So let's go ahead and execute our package. So I do have a new package here. I'm just going to right click. And execute so the first task is you're gonna delete the records here and then you're gonna load the information and you can see there are five rows and five rows and then ten rows all together combined have been inserted the database so let's double check our data if you execute this again I'll just get um, five records and if you see here we made a mistake oh let me see our employees. Oh, maybe I just need to map. So, um, let me go back here to columns. I do have three columns. And as you can tell here, um, this columns here where not included in the output, and that's why we were unable um, to see them. So now if i try to actually um this actually the, we have successfully inserted the data but now we don't have a um, higher date and employee name why because um here they've been ignored we can try to uh, include them but the problem is you get an error that uh the metadata was um did not match and uh, this is because um, when you come here you go to let me resolve this issue first real quick good so when i come here to show editor you can see when i go to comp column properties um the output of this is string and the higher date is string so um we may need to um convert this to um a metadata where it's uniform for both of them but for this video i think um i'll stop here and then i'll create another video uh, on how to resolve this issue but um i use you know and uh um um it will combine both um, sources to produce one output.
Thank you very much for watching and today I will show you guys how to load data from multiple sources and I will make another one on how to resolve this issue. Thank you. Have a nice day.